It all could have been the other way. We know that. It's easy to say, though, that we, you know, we, we don't know what we're doing or we're falling apart and all that's what people are trying to say. We're so close to having all these wins, but we know that. And so we just need to get going and get rolling here. Well, we heard Pete Carroll talk about how the team was unified and really not distracted by anything going on in the locker room these days. Marcus Burley, one of the members of the Legion of Boom. And Marcus, is that about accurate? Have you noticed anything unusual from your teammates? Oh, no, definitely. You know, we just we just go out every day to get better, you know, keep our heads in the playbook and, you know, get ready for the next game. When the team traded for you and brought you in, how does it make you feel when you are chosen in that situation, especially by the defending Super Bowl champs? It, it felt great, you know, especially to be a part of a defense like this, part of a secondary like this, you know, Sherman, Earl, Chancellor, guys like that, you know, that helped me on and off the field. It felt great. I want to know what those meeting rooms are like, though. I know that those guys can talk on the field, but who talks in the meeting rooms? Uh, well, Coach really leads the meeting rooms. You know, we, we talk a little bit, you know, good friends and stuff like that, but Coach really leads the meeting rooms. The team returns home to CenturyLink this week. What's the loudest stadium you have ever played in? I guess maybe outside of CenturyLink, or how does CenturyLink compare? Well, CenturyLink is definitely the loudest stadium I've, I've ever been in. And, you know, the fans are great, you know, especially when defense is up. They're great. They really help us out a lot. Are they ever a distraction, though? I mean, because sometimes I wonder, can you hear what's going on and what you need to hear? Oh, yeah, I hear everything I need to hear. They're, they're definitely not a distraction to us. This week, there's a pretty good chance there's opportunities for interceptions with the way that Derek Carr throws the ball. What are you looking forward to about this type of offense you guys are going to be facing? Oh, yeah, Derek Carr, he's, he's been doing been doing pretty well. He throws the ball a lot, and, you know, defenses like this, secondaries like us, you know, we, we find that we, we're ready for that. You know, we, we're prepared for that, and that's a good opportunity for us. I know that it is a, a defense as a whole that gets the job done, but when you do see passing numbers like that, does it make you just a little bit more excited, a little bit more anxious for anything? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, when the quarterback wants to sit back and, and throw you a lot of balls a game, you know, secondaries love that. All right, now here's what I really want to know. Last week, you come away with the interception. KJ had a chance for one and Farrell had a chance for one. Did they come up and ask for any advice from you this week? <laughs> well, you know, you just, you, when, they, when they throw them to you, you want to catch them. And, you know, we had, we had chances for more, uh, more picks and we'll, we'll, get them. we'll get them next time. You guys practice that, I know. What kind of drills do you guys work on to make sure your hands are ready in that situation? Yeah, the defense, you know, we practice the ball drills and, you know, we throw the ball, especially in footwork. We always throw the ball, make sure we're breaking on the ball right and stuff. So we'll definitely get it. The Seahawks back home in Seattle Sunday. One room looks ahead to the Raiders when all access rolls on. Oh,